welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new. If you're new, I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below to join my YouTube family. But today I am doing a rose hip oil beauty hacks video. I'm bringing the OG hacks video back and I haven't done one of these in a while and I'm super excited to bring this one to you. If you guys haven't heard of rose hip oil or just never included it into your beauty routine, you definitely have to. There is so many amazing beauty hacks, tips, tricks, and benefits when it comes to incorporating rose hip oil into your routine. So I'm going to go ahead and just share some of them and explain all the benefits. I will link down below a rose hip oil in my description description box so definitely go check it out if you guys want to incorporate it into your routine. I will also link down below my life hack playlist if you want to see more videos like this. I've done so many now. That being said, let's just jump right into the rose hip oil hacks. Of course, you're going to need your rose hip oil and like I said, I will link one in the description box, but what is rose hip oil? It is also known as rose hip seed oil and is harvested from the seeds of rose bushes. It is full of vitamins, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids that are great for the body, the skin, and hair. This oil is very lightweight and very easy to use as well as it is affordable, but before I jump into sharing all of the different rose hip oil beauty hacks one thing you want to make sure you do whenever applying anything new to the skin you want to do a test patch before putting it all over you just to see because we're, all our skins are different and of course you want to make sure you avoid the eyes when using rose hip oil so with that being said let's just jump right into all of the beauty hacks I am going to start first with the skin because rosehip oil has amazing benefits for the skin and a variety of benefits. So all you have to do is apply a few drops onto the hands, rub them together to warm up the oil and then just apply it all over the skin. The first benefit that this is great for is moisturizing. Rosehip oil is full of vitamin C, which is great for adding hydration to the skin. The fatty acids in the rosehip oil also plays a role in its moisturizing power and it really just gives you a glow. It's also really great at fighting acne because it does contain vitamins A, C, and E, which help with acne prevention and reduction by increasing skin cell turnover. And another really great benefit when it comes to the skin is it's great for fading scars. It really helps to fade those facial scars or any marks that you have on the skin. Overall, it's just really going to give you that dewy look and healthy glow to the skin. To help thicken your eyebrows or if you're having trouble growing out your eyebrows, rub a little rosehip oil onto your eyebrows as part of your nightly beauty routine. This will really help the hair to grow faster as well as moisturize your eyebrows. Speaking of moisturizing, another great hack is to apply rosehip oil onto the lips. The nourishing and brightening properties of the rosehip oil is not only great for facial skin, but it's also great for your lips. It lightens discolored lips and protects them from sunburn. And you can replace your lip balm with this oil as a natural softening agent for chapped, dry, and cracked lips. Another great hack is to apply rosehip oil under the eyes. Of course, you don't want to get any rosehip oil into the eyes, but applying it underneath the eyes is great for treating fine lines and wrinkles, as well as it's great for if you struggle with hyperpigmentation or dark circles. Rosehip oil is packed with anti-inflammatory fatty acids and vitamins A and C, and these ingredients treat signs of aging, pigmentation, hydrate the skin, repair damaged skin, and provide a strong protective antioxidant boost. The vitamin A in particular is said to be a wrinkle eraser and skin evener, and helps to build collagen, reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and thus increasing skin tones. For all, this is a great eye treatment to add into your nightly routine. The next beauty hack is to apply a drop of rosehip oil into your foundation. If you guys are curious, the foundation I've been using is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I will link that down below if you guys are just wondering. I've been wearing this for months and absolutely love it. 
But if I want more of that glow to my foundation look, that is when I will apply a drop of rosehip oil into it. It's not only great for the hydration of your skin, but it's going to give you more of a dewy complexion. So if you don't want a matte look, or if you just have all matte foundations and want to switch it up one day and want more of that dewy look, you can just add a droplet and it's going to completely change the foundation look. So once I applied the rosehip oil into my foundation, I just make sure to mix it all together. And of course, just apply it all over my face and take my foundation brush and just buff it in. And it really just hydrates my skin at the same time because I do struggle with really dry skin, especially now during the winter time. This is a really great hack to incorporate into your makeup routine. You can also add rosehip oil into other products like even your moisturizer if you want it to give it an extra boost of moisturization. Rosehip oil also has so many benefits for the hair and you can do so many things with it. The first one being using rosehip oil as a hair serum. If the ends of your hair are looking super dry, rosehip oil is great to add on the ends of the hair as your serum. It is packed with essential fatty acids that are great for the hair. It's just very moisturizing and it really helps to coat those split ends and in turn eliminate the split ends while giving your hair a natural and beautiful appearance. Another thing that you can do with that serum is just gently coat your hair all over because because rosehip oil is also really great at fighting frizz. It's great at targeting those flyaways, so you just have to add only one to two drops to help smooth everything down and give your hair that beautiful shine as well. Of course, you don't want to put too much because then your hair is gonna look too oily. Just make sure you're putting a little bit and it's really going to help with fight the frizz and flyaways. The next hack is to use rosehip oil as an anti-dandruff remedy. So at nighttime, apply just a few drops onto your scalp and massage gently. This is going to promote circulation and help keep dandruff at bay. So once you go to bed with the oil in your hair, you just wake up and if your roots are still looking a little bit oily the next morning, you can of course go ahead and just shampoo or wash your hair as normal or you can simply just use some dry shampoo and it's just going to be fine. But of course, if your hair is too oily, I recommend just jumping in the shower and shampooing your hair as normal. But if you are struggling with a dry, itchy scalp and dandruff, Rosehip oil is really great to incorporate into your hair care to really help get rid of dandruff and minimize it. Or the last hair hack when it comes to rosehip oil is just using it as a weekly deep conditioning treatment. So applying it all over your hair. I applied it all over my scalp, bringing it all the way down to the ends of my hair so that your hair is fully coated with the oil. And just putting your hair into a shower cap, you can use this as your weekly treatment or bi-weekly treatment. And this is just going to give you so many benefits to the hair. It's really going to help moisturize your hair, help with those split ends, help with your scalp to moisturize that but also rosehip oil is really great for hair growth. These certain properties in rosehip oil really help to increase the strength of your hair, thereby promoting overall growth. And these properties include those fatty acids and vitamin C. You can keep your mask on for even 30 minutes and then just jump in the shower and make sure that you shampoo a couple times to really get the oil out and your hair is just gonna be a lot more smoother, shinier, and a lot stronger as well. The next hack is using rosehip oil on dry skin problems, whether that's your elbows or on your feet or the soles of your feet that need some extra TLC. Rosehip oil is really just going to give you that baby soft skin. It's great for sensitive skin as well. So you can really apply it all over your body as a moisturizer, but it's especially really great for those areas that tend to get a little bit more dry than other areas. The next hack is to use the oil to soften stretch marks. So whether you have it on your stomach or the inside of your thighs or the back of your thighs, wherever your stretch marks are, just apply a few drops to it and massage it and it really helps to fade away stretch marks and it's just going to really give your skin that extra hydration as well. 
The last beauty hack is to follow up your shaving routine with rosehip oil. So whether you just shaved your underarms or your legs, rosehip oil gives your skin's natural repair function a real boost while conditioning the skin at the same time. And a huge bonus is its ability to fade any old nicks from shaving or uneven skin tone across your legs. So it's definitely a great thing to follow up with after your shaving routine. That is all for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I love going back to the beginning and doing a hacks video again. I haven't done one in a while. Like I did say in the beginning, I will link down below a rosehip oil in my description box, as well as link my light packs playlist if you wanna watch more videos like this. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I do post every single Tuesday and Thursday, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.